she attained the samyaktva which is called samyak drashti or samyaktva or right faith same name okay there are following seven karmas are suppressed or eradicated you can reach higher state by suppressing i told you okay but it's only temporary suppression is always temporary and is false there are three types of faith deluding darshan mohaniya karma which we talk a little bit and i just listed the same three mithyatva mohaniya misra mohaniya and samyaktva mohaniya these three types of the karma is already gone now just knowing what is right things and there is a four anantano bandhi kashay generally whenever we talk about kashay it is the four important kashay krodh man maya and lobh okay anger ego deceit and greed they have a, the intensity anger has a four types of the intensity ego has a four types of the intensity deceit has a four types of intensity and greed has a four types of intensity these four types of the intensity their name is anantanubandhi kashay means anantanubandhi anger anantanubandhi ego anantanubandhi deceit or greed ananta anubandhi means highest anger like you want to destroy the whole world because they are not behaving according to the you your desire i mean you know, that you know the people get so angry sometimes all right that is the highest level less than ananta anubandhi kashay it is called apratyakhyani kashay okay it is less than ananta anubandhi but higher than the other two kashay there are total four types of the kashay okay from intensity point of view apratyakhyani kashay the next one is a pratyakhyani kashay which is less than uh, apratyakhyani and the last one very small kashay left it is called swanjvalan kashay okay so swanjvalan is the lowest kashay swanjal swanjvalan anger swanjvalan ego swanjvalan deceit and swanjvalan greed okay these four kashay all other kashay really includes in in these four group any other kashay you will find out it is one of these group anger ego deceit and greed okay so out of these four variations of the kashayas anantanubandhi kashay just because the person knew proper when person knew the proper proper things this kashay no longer exist in him okay just the knowledge you no know, once somebody whatever they do but the existence of the right knowledge you will not be able to do any of these faith deluding karma or any of the anantanubandhi kasha so having the knowledge proper knowledge these three karma will not occur in you these seven karmas i mean 3 plus 4 and these seven karmas are called darshan saptak sometimes you use the come across this terminology that once somebody has a samyaktva then they will not do any kind of the highest sin these are the highest sins okay mithyatva is the highest sins and anantanu bandhi kashay is the highest sin the other kashays will be removed at the different stages of the gulstana or pratyakhani kashay when it will be removed i will explain that time 
Okay, Pratyakhani Kashai when it will be reduced. When you say Pratyakhani is again Pratyakhani, anger, ego, deceit, and greed. All right. So now if you are progressing by suppressing, then downfall will occur at any time. Okay, it could occur at this time or it could occur, no, at the fifth Gunstana, sixth, seventh, okay. Ultimately, it will occur on the 11th Gunstana. You can reach all the way up to 11th Gunstana by suppressing, suppressing, suppressing. But it will, so downfall occurs if spiritual progress occurred by suppression. So that concept you have to keep in mind, even though Jainism has explained, you are progressing, you are progressing, but you got to be at the end, they make this statement. Yeah, how did you progress it? During this progression period, if you can change to Kshayopsham, then only suppression, then you have a better chance of eradicating. You have a better chance of the eradicating because now you are understanding it and you are removing it. Understanding it and removing it and increasing the Kshayopsham way. So that is a very practical way of explaining the Jain things. Any question here? So these are the seven stage, seven karmas are suppressed or eradicated. We, I use this, both the terminology. You can progress by suppressing or you can progress by eradicating. If eradication, then it's a permanent. If you are suppressing, unless you remove Kshayopsham way and remove your suppression, okay, on that process, then you will make it, no, otherwise you will fall, okay. Only suppression, you are going to fall, period, okay. Mix-wise depends upon which directions you are going and how good your knowledge is. You can go either way, all right. So, this is the kind of the things, seven karmas and downfall occurs. If you don't have any other question, let me proceed further. Okay. Now, the next step, when this is the Shravak right now, the fourth and the fifth Gunstanak is the Shravak. In the fourth Gunstanak, you have, your life is not controlled. Control means you haven't taken any vows. When you come to the fifth Gunstana, you take 12 vows of the lay people. Okay. We can use that topic later on if we haven't done it. Okay. I will look into it. But what is the Sravak Vrath? Sravak vows. But if a person takes those 12 vows of the lay people, okay, then it is considered he reached to the fifth stage of the Gunstana, which is called Desvirat Samyakdrashti. Means partial renunciation, partial vows, because you are still a lay person, okay. Lay person is always partial conduct. Sadhu, where you take the five Mahavras, it is called fully conduct. Okay? That's the ultimate thing. All right? You, you don't have your family relationship. You don't have a, you know, everything, any, anything what you do, you are a non-violent, truthful, okay, and all those five vows. Uh, these are the things, ultimately, it reduces to these five Mahavrats 
or five anuvrat. Okay, anuvrat is where shravak ends. The mahavrat is the one that will take you all the way to liberation because you cannot attain sixth gunstana unless you are practicing mahavrat okay and every definitions you no know, we will see it each one like a uh, number fifth practicing partial vows of right conduct which we already discussed it okay why it's partial vows of the right conduct it's an anuvrat. Shravaks are practicing anuvrat. Anuvrat gives some exposure, some liberation, like hurting of one sense living beings for our survival. As a human survival, we need to eat food. We need a shelter. We need to breathe. Right? The breathing is something, even if you become monks and nuns, you have to continue to breathe. And that one is a killing. But your existence is not your motto. Your motto is to help others, to teach Jain philosophy. As long as your motto is not, is noble and the breathing, without breathing, you are not able to survive. Okay, it is not part of it. Okay, because otherwise, no, you no, you are losing the life and if there is no life, no, what good the religion is. Okay, you are practicing. But food and shelter, that one, you are doing it for yourself. As a monk, no, you don't have any possession period with regards to food and shelter. Okay, you are depending on others. Whenever you are hungry, you go out, beg for the food from few houses or whatever your tradition is but it is one something whatever they offer you and you take less you don't take empty out where housewife has to recook food for themselves it is as good as they do they cook for yourself okay so make sure as a monk they take very little so the housewife doesn't have to recook and because every time you do the you know cooking you are hurting many one sense soul even if you give somebody a water glass of water when they drink the water all water lives are going to be killed okay because it's it they come in contact with the different environment they are not accustomed to it and they will be dead okay it's like when you boil the water all the water living beings are going to be killed so you can just see as a lay person you have to do these things and since you have to do it even though you have a proper knowledge but you are not able to practice properly. While as a monk, you can practice it properly. So that's why it is called Deshvirat, partial renunciation. Okay, because you still have other kind of a pop exposure. Okay, I think what I would like to do, if we have any question, I will answer it. Otherwise, we can stop here. Okay.